Famous and aspiring athletes love to swap success stories about how they gained victories and overcame defeats. They share how championships have been won through faith and mental grit and physical sweat. Some conclude by sharing this encouraging slogan, just do it. This message has spread beyond athletic competition. The idea is that individuals can conquer circumstances, challenges, and gain the victory through personal passion, strength, and perseverance. But inside and outside the athletic realm, when we experience conflict, we don't always do what's difficult, even though we know what is wise. In the Book of Wisdom, Proverbs, Solomon taught ways to love the unlovable, even opponents. The king taught, hatred stirs up quarrels, but love makes up for all offenses. Proverbs instructs us to return kind words for others' rudeness. If someone does wrong to us or mistreats someone else we care about, we probably don't feel like blessing them. In fact, we may want to do the exact opposite. Known as the wisest person who ever lived, Solomon gained all of that wisdom from God. Solomon was responsible for dispensing godly wisdom to every person in the nation of Israel. God compelled Solomon to contrast right and wrong, good and evil, and to illustrate what's wise or foolish. King Solomon wrote that meddling with hate produces more hate. Evil feeds on hatred. Kind words towards the unlovable require wisdom and restraint. Beating up someone with hateful words and actions is unwise. Throughout the Bible, in Old Testament wisdom and in the New Testament stories of Jesus, we learned that love is always more powerful than hate, and this applies in every arena.